Hey, how's it going? This is Chef Sheldon from Top Chef Season 10. We're standing in the kitchen of Star Noodle right now. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so we're gonna recreate a dish that uh, on the, this last episode that we did for the my dish right before the finale. And that's, uh, that's just some seared, we're doing some seared mehi with some uh, Japanese pickled, pickled vegetables, some charred cucumbers, and a sweet and sour broth. I was casted for Top Chef about a year ago, and uh, you know, it's been a whirlwind ever since. The dishes that I got to create on the show has been uh, dishes that very dear to my heart and uh, dishes that kind of view where I come from. So I've cooked dishes from Hawaii. I got to cook at Restaurant Wars, some Filipino dishes, doing some out of the box stuff like balut, which is the infamous uh, egg, I guess, from the Philippines. And uh, yeah, it's been a blast. It's, it's been fun to showcase myself and represent Hawaii and uh, my Filipino culture. It was such a blessing to represent Maui and uh, you know, get a little shine for the, for the culinary, culinary world out here. My flavor profile is definitely flavors of Hawaii and uh, my Filipino heritage. So I grew up cooking Filipino food with my grandparents and my, my dad and whatever influence that here is, there is in Hawaii. So there's a big Chinese, Japanese, Portuguese influence from the plantation and uh, you see it in my food. Definitely was, came from my grandparents and my dad and my, my mom. Uh, uh, they just told me to put your heart in your food and uh, that's the biggest seasoning. You know, people will ultimately notice when you put your heart into your food. My dad would cook me Kilowin. Actually, that's not really cooking, so that's actually a raw beef dish and uh, just flavored with some ginger. Uh, my mom would cook me Mickey noodles, and I actually got to recreate that dish on the show for Restaurant Wars. Uh, for the young kids out there, you know, dream big, set a goal, and go for it, you know. Uh, it's going to be hard work. Be obsessed with your job, be obsessed with your craft, and continue. It's all about the food. Don't go on thinking that you want to be this famous chef or whatever. It's all about the food in the end. You know, enjoy what you do. We've got pan roasted lehi with Japanese pickled vegetables. Here in Hawaii, we're really proud of Chef Sheldon. It couldn't happen to a better family. He's really humble and he's got some really good talent. Bringing in the concepts of ahupua'a, you know, the greater community, uh, kuleana, responsibility, uh, really understanding those values. And again, with, with Chef Sheldon there and the success that he's having on this program, it's amazing to see that. It's, it's taking what this greater community has and sharing it with the rest of the world in ways that no people have under, ever been able to understand it. So we're really proud of Chef Sheldon. Let me tell you a little bit about uh, Chef Sheldon. You know, I, I, I couldn't be more proud of, uh, of Sheldon because He's just a great representation of Hawaii. He's a great representation of Maui. Um, and being a, lo a local Hilo boy, you know, I, I just think he's very, um, he, he's a very, he's great in the kitchen and out of the kitchen. And, and that's why I respect him a little more about him than anything else. You know, it's like professional athletes that are, that are good people on and off the field. You know, I can definitely say that for Sheldon. He's a, he's a great chef in the kitchen and out of the kitchen and uh, you know, I'm, I couldn't be more proud of him. I know Maui's proud, I know all of Hawaii's proud and uh, I hope he brings home the gold.